In Northern Europe, this straw goat, known as the Yule goat, is a symbol of Christmas time and it has been intertwined with many traditions, from gift giving to arson. Hi, Zachamals here. The origin of goats in Christmas folklore are believed to be connected to the Norse god of thunder, Thor, and his goats named Teeth Bearer and Teeth Grinder, which pulled his chariot in the sky. Then, the idea of a magical goat became part of a pagan tradition of Yule time, a festival that has now become interchangeable with Christmas. In ancient times, people in Sweden believed the Yule goat was an invisible spirit that would appear at Christmas to check that Christmas preparations had been done properly. The goat's role eventually changed, and in the 17th century, people would dress up as the Yule goat, which this time was presented as a scary creature that would demand gifts. Then, as time went on, ideas changed, and in the 19th century, the Yule goat's role was reversed, and now was believed to be similar to Santa Claus, and sometimes was even depicted with Father Christmas riding on the goat's back. Nowadays, the goat is mainly used as a Christmas decoration, often made of straw. It is still a strong symbol of Christmas in Scandinavia. In the town of Gävle, Sweden, they take Yule goat decorations one step further, with a giant straw goat that's 13 metres tall, 7 metres long, and weighs 3.6 tonnes. It's put up every year at the start of Advent, and is then traditionally burnt down. However, this tradition of burning is completely illegal, and you can be arrested and sent for jail for arson. The first incident was in 1966 on New Year's Eve, when at midnight the goat was burnt down. The vandal was found and charged for their crimes. It was then burnt again in 1969, and then in 1970. Now it became a tradition to try and destroy the goat in any way possible. There were some very weird attempts, like in 2010, when people planned to kidnap the goat with a helicopter and bring it to Stockholm. This didn't work. But other plans did, such as in 2005, when two vandals dressed as Santa Claus and a gingerbread man shot a flaming arrow at the goat and burnt it down. Then some of the arsonists didn't really have a plan, like Lawrence Jones, a 51-year-old man from Cleveland, Ohio, he believed it was completely legal to burn the goat, and did so in 2001. He was arrested and spent 18 days in jail, and had his cigarette lighter confiscated. The building of the goat is a long process. It is made of a whole truck of straw, 1,600 metres of rope, and 1,200 metres of Swedish pine for the wooden skeleton. It then takes a thousand man-hours to build the Evle goat. Since it's so difficult to build, many security features have been added, such as in 1985, when a two metre high metal fence guarded by soldiers was put up around the goat. It then burned down in January. In 2009, webcams were set up to spot the vandals in action, but these were taken offline by a denial of service attack, and then the goat burned down. In 2011, it was sprayed with water to create a flame-proof coating of ice. It then burned down. The Evle goat is incredibly easy to burn on. It is massive and made of straw, and has therefore only survived 16 of 52 times. This year, the goat is still standing, but I will keep you updated in the comments section below the video, in case that changes. Thanks for watching the video. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you're not already. Bye!